I only knew about Stonewall when, I want to say I was in college, when I talked to other LGBT students. Basically, that's like the start of the gay rights movement. So Stonewall happened, I think it was 68 or 69. It was society bubbling up. It was kind of a crescendo of our civil rights plight uh, to be able to be who we are as, as the LGBT community. They found a place where they felt safe to be who they are and it was really monumental to see the uprise took place and where people said, you know what, enough is enough. I feel like knowing the history is so important so we do not repeat it. When I first learned about Stonewall, it sucked to learn about, but it's a discomfort that you have to sit in to understand sort of the oppression that we face. So we were angry. We were not like in media. We were nowhere. So I think that's how it kind of gets started because we were treated like crap, basically. After a storm, there's a rainbow. After a explosion, there's quiet. But after the uprising, it organized and mobilized a movement to keep the uh, progress going. It pulled away the shame, you know, when, when people stood up and they're like, this is who I am. And that to me is what pride is, right? It's, it's the ability and the freedom to feel as though you can live your authentic self. To have this level of freedom, it's something I never thought that I would have. I felt that who I was was never going to be good enough and that the people that I really love were going to turn their back on me. And I'm just so thankful that I'm here because I didn't always know if I would be here. I've for a long time suffered from depression. And so when I start to think about the things that impact other people because of who they are. Um, it really impacts who we are as individuals. That's what I really love about Cox is they really emphasize diversity. As an LGBT employee, um, I'm so happy that there's a company that's very accepting to all types of people, especially uh, gay ones like myself. Everybody's really accepting because since like day one, I have been like out and proud because that's just kind of part of my whole Credo. And I feel that Cox, the Cox family, all of the Cox companies, especially after the events of 2020, have become hyper aware of how important it is to have every voice be heard. And I think as long as you're focusing on that, who you are, your sexuality shouldn't even come into play at that point. I want people to see that I'm warm and friendly. I am a very genuine and caring person. I just want people to see me as an equal, honestly. Because I'm me. That's one of the amazing things about life. Pride is your authentic self. Whether you're gay, straight, or not, uh, it's, it's all of your wins, all of the successes, all of the things that, that you know, really make you who you are, whether you're an ally or, or you are on you know, the, the LGBT spectrum, as I call it. It's time to celebrate all of that, you know, and where we've come and how far we've come as a community.